See, it's a 2016 Oxford White um, 5.0. Um, it has a performance package on it. Anything about myself, anything that revolves around cars, I'm there. If it, if a friend needs, a, you know, I try to help a lot. Uh, my friends are you not know, in spare time. There's either family, my little girls and my car. Does my car have a name? Based on the theme that I have going on, uh, it, I call it, well everybody calls it Shady Lady. Um, it's just like on the old school, you know, fighter jets. They had a, a model, you know, a pinup doll up on the front, and they had a name um, for the plane. And this one I named it Shady Lady. No one will be forgiven Why did I buy this car? At one point, I had a, an older Mustang. It was a 2011. Um, I got rid of it and I regret getting rid of it. Uh, so, I, I never reached the full potential with that car. You know, I, I felt like if it was, you know, it could have been so much better, so much nicer. Um, so I got rid of it, ended up getting other cars, you know, BMW, a Corvette, and uh, I ended up coming back to a Mustang because of that, and it was a white Mustang too, so uh, it's kind of like the 2.0 reincarnation of, uh, everybody knew that other car as a Panda. So that's the recondition of the panda. Um, how long have I had this car for? It's been approximately nine months. Nine months that I've had the car, um, give or take. And my favorite part of the car, it would have to be, there's two parts to it. It would have to be the front end, you know, it looks really mean, it's, uh, you know, um, it looks like it could suck anything into it. Uh, and aside from that, since it's my daily driver, I would have to say the supercharger. Um, every time I drive it, if, it, if I drive it 10 times a day, those 10 times I get a smile on my face for driving it. Um, it, it just feels great, it feels great. Um, Am I planning on getting another car? I never do plan to get another car, but I never stick with that. I always say, no, this is the last car, and this is the last mod. That never happens. You guys know, you know, if you're into the car scene, you know that that doesn't happen. You know, one more thing, and then this last one. And so, I'm saying that I'm gonna keep it. If maybe something else comes up, who knows, you know. What motivated me to be a car enthusiast? Um, I think like most most guys say that 
you just grow up with it. How long have I been in the scene? The first car I had was a um, 1994 Jetta. And I was, a, I was in high school back then, so it would be back in early 2000s. So I want to say that I've been in the scene for a little bit over 12, 13 years. You know, messing with the cars, helping, um, getting help, um, modifying all that good stuff, breaking things, fixing them, breaking them again. someone the person that I've always looked up to and it doesn't matter if it's really in the car scene or you know personal wise would be a uh, my dad my dad um, he's always there for me it could be really late at night and I need help or if I'm stranded whatever it might be he's always there he never says no um, he's a really good guy you know he's always positive and he's always willing to help anybody It's, um, it's your car, it's your money, you work hard for it, and uh, let's put it this way, there's always going to be that person that says that that doesn't look good, that you shouldn't have done that, that um, you should have kept it the way it was before, you know, uh, don't do that, do this instead, you do you, you know, um, at the end of the day, it's, it's what counts, it's your car, it's what puts a smile on your face, it's what makes you turn back whenever you're heading to, uh, whenever you're heading to the grocery store, you know, to, you know, you lock the car, you walk away from it, it's, it's, it's the reason why you look back to it, you know, because it's your car, you like it, and don't listen to others, that's all. <laughs> bit about the car uh, the car I have a uh, uh, it's a pro charger it's, so it's uh, it's boosted um, it's a five liter um, I have a couple of bolt-ons you know nothing crazy um, I'm not I'm not the fastest out there but I'm not the slowest um, I, I, I like to uh, refer to it as a uh, as uh, the baby boost the baby boost that's my hashtag team baby boost because you know, um, it's uh, something nice to drive, especially if it's the daily. Um, I bought the car stock, completely stock. You know, uh, before that, my Corvette that I had, it was so fixed up. You know, it was it looked really nice. And whenever I got rid of that one and got this one, people would say, "Why? You know, it, it looks ugly. It's stock. You know, it's like any other Mustang. There's thousands of Mustangs in El Paso, which there is. But if you uh, if you work on it, and if you put your mind into it, and you know, do something different than others, it might end up, you know, looking, looking good. Shoutouts would be to um, the museum. As you guys can see, uh, not a lot of people know about the museum, and there's a lot of nice planes in here, and they're all actual planes that flew, um, you know, during the during the World Wars. Um, shout out would be uh, to who else? To my boy Miguel. 